Hey guys, today is Wednesday, so you're blushing around with me. This week we did, or we are doing, Guru um, recreations, and the guru that I chose to recreate a look for was Makeup by Tiffany D. She was one of the very first people that I ever saw on YouTube, and this was actually the look that I'm wearing right now is actually the very first tutorial that I ever saw on YouTube, and I absolutely fell in love with it and have worn it many, many times. I actually have every single eyeshadow color that she uses for this look except for one. So I made a point to get all of the shadows so that I could recreate this look. But um, I hope that you guys like it. It's a look that she did based off of Hayden Pianetaire's, um her Golden Globe look, I believe. But I'll put a link to the video and a link to Tiffany in the sidebar. Make sure that you check them both out. Um, I'm sure that you're already subscribed to Tiffany because she's amazing. But if you guys would like to see how to do this, then keep on watching. Alright guys, so the first thing that I'm going to do is take Constructivist Paint Pot by MAC. And I'm just going to use like a flat, fluffy brush. And I'm going to apply this all over my lid. And then just pick up a little bit more and darken the outer corner just a little bit. And you don't want this up into your crease. You just want to put it all over... The lid and it doesn't have to be perfect and then what we're gonna do is just take a little bit right on the tip and we're gonna bring a little bit underneath also um, I already primed my lid with Urban Decay Primer Potion and Potion I already primed my lid with Urban Decay Primer Potion and then put a little bit underneath as well so just bring this color up to meet with the top just like that. Next I'm going to take Graphology by MAC and I'm going to take my Mud 320 brush which is just a large flat brush um, and what I'm going to do is pick up some of Graphology and I'm going to put it all over the lid. And the Constructivist actually warms up this color and makes it really 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 pretty then just take the tip of this brush and bring the color down into the along the lower lash line next I'm gonna take Vex by MAC and I am going to put this on the mud 350 brush which is a smaller flat brush and what I want to do with this is just put it into the corner just to lighten this corner up because you don't want the corner to be so dark and then I'm going to pat it around the tear duct as well just like that alright now the next two colors that she uses I don't have the exact colors that she uses so I'm going to use colors from my 88 warm palette the first one that I'm going to take is in the second to last row right here and it's this brown color right here I'm going to pick that up on a fluffy crease brush and what I want to do is just work this into my crease and what I'm at the same time I'm going to be blending out that harsh line that um, Graphology and the Constructivist Paint Pot left so you kind of want to blend that out at the same time that you're applying this color and it's just a medium brown color and since I have hooded eyes, I'm working this um, right onto my brow bone and creating my crease. Next, I'm going to take the color right below it, which is just a little, it's one shade darker of brown. And I'm going to apply that over top of the color that I just applied. Next, I'm going to take Hepcat by MAC, and I'm going to take that same fluffy crease brush, and I'm going to work this right over top of those brown colors that I just put on, and what it's going to do is it's going to create a really pretty burgundy color, and those brown colors are just going to warm this uh, purple right up and turn it into that burgundy. Next I'm going to use Mylar by MAC and it's just a really pretty highlight color. I'm going to pick that up on a flat fluffy brush 
and I'm going to work this right underneath my brow and then I'm just going to blend it right into that color and make sure that those lines fade together. All right, so the last thing that we're going to do is deepen up that um, outer corner. So we're going to take Carbon by MAC, which is just a matte black color, and I'm going to use my MAC 226 brush, which is just a pointed, um, fluffy brush. And I'm just going to pick a little bit of that up on the tip. And what I want to do is just dab that right in the outer corner. You don't want to mess up any of the colors that you have. You just want it right here on the outer corner, and then just start swirling it into your crease slightly. All right, so what that's going to do is just deepen up that outer corner and just make it pop a little bit more. Now I'm going to line my waterline, and Tiffany used a gel eyeliner to line her waterline in this video. So I'm going to use my Pixie Gel Eyeliner in Onyx, and I'm going to use my Sigma SS226 brush, which is just an angled liner brush. And I'm going to pick up some of the gel eyeliner, and I'm going to work it into my waterline and you want to be really careful when you're working with gel to do your waterline to make sure that you do not get it on your eye. Now on the top what we're going to do is um, pick a little bit more up and what you want to do is look down at your mirror and kind of stay in the picture. So what you want to do is pick a little bit up on one side of your brush and look down at the mirror and just kind of put it on your waterline like this. So once you have your waterline completely done, she used a liquid liner to line her top just to do a really thin line because we're going to put on false lashes. And um, I'm going to use my gel eyeliner to do that just because it's a little bit easier and I don't like working with liquid liner. So now I'm going to go ahead and apply my lashes. The lashes that I'm going to be using are the Ardell um, 110s in black, and they look like that. And I'm going to put these on, and then I will be right back to finish up the look. All right, guys, so this is the finished look. What I did to finish up is I put on my lashes, and then I used my Mineral Mineralized Skin Finish in Warm Blend. Um, and I use this as a bronzing, like a contour, and I just contoured very lightly. You don't want it to show too much contouring, but I just dusted it lightly over the places where I would normally contour. And then as a highlight, I used my Mineralized Skin Finish and Perfect Topping, just because it matches my skin tone really well and just gives me a really pretty glow, which is what we were going for with this. Um, for my blush, I use Mary Kay's um, Mineralized Blush in Sparkling Cider, which looks like this. It's kind of a peachy blush. And I put that on very, very lightly. Um, and then to finish up my lips, I used my MAC um, lipstick in Creme de Nude, which looks like this, just to nude out my lip color. And then I used Hawaiian Sunset Lip Gloss by Mary Kay, which is a really pretty um, golden color to finish out the look. So I hope that you guys like this. Tiffany, I hope I did you proud. And um, make sure that you check her out. And I will be back to blush around with you guys next Wednesday. Look out for Blair tomorrow. And I will see you guys later. Bye. All right, guys. So the first thing that I am going to do is turn this off and delete that.